Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley Michelle. Thank you for being here if you're new. Thank you for returning if you're not. We are going to be doing a get to know your witches tag presented by Little Cosmic Crow, um, Rebecca from Little Cosmic Crow. And she is super freaking adorable. Let me just tell you guys before we start this, let me just tell you guys, I just finished watching her video and you know, sometimes like when I'm commenting on videos, I'll comment and then I'll either edit the original comment or if they, if the person has like liked it and responded, I'll leave another comment, right? So like sometimes I'll leave like multiple comments on videos and I'm just like, sorry, you're gonna have to go through this again. Um, but she was so fucking cute. And one of the questions was like, um, you know, if a YouTuber was like a genie, um, and they could like grant you three wishes, like what would they be? My heart just exploded. <laughs> just exploded with love and just happiness. And she's just like, yeah, um, let's be friends. And I was like, yes, bitch, let's be friends. I'm ready. <laughs> Y'all know how much like I just want to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was just like, oh my god, like, what? Yes, someone wants to talk to me? Hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> how may I be of assistance? <laughs> so, it was just cute and I wanted to share it. Okay, okay, we're done now. So, she like, fancied up her tag questions. Um, if you guys are witchy YouTubers and you've seen any of my tags, um, perhaps you'll know I have a list, like a master tag list, um, and it has all the tags that I've created as well as all the tags that I've seen from other people or that I've participated in from other people. And it like, it has their documents linked or I create a document if they don't have a document that they've provided and it just like you know it has their video and stuff like that so i've added this to that list um in case you guys are interested but i would recommend going and watching a little cosmic crows video it's super adorable i loved it <laughs> and um she <laughs> She made it so fancy and nice. Like mine, I try to make fancy and nice and pretty, but like, who has time for that? <laughs> Rebecca does, <laughs> cause she fucking made it gorgeous. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> and it's like gorgeous, but it's also like minimalistic. You know, it's not like overbearing and overwhelming. Like mine would be like mine would have 50 million colors everywhere. No one would understand it. And they'd be like, Ashley, this is too much. I need you to sit down. And I'd be like, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it looks super cute. I love it. So that's all I have to say about it. We're going to get into the questions now that we're five minutes into the video. Okay. So question number one, does your sun sign zodiac sign portray you correctly if not do your other planetary signs so i have done a video on this i will either leave a card up or i will put links in the description or i'll do both maybe i'll like really go the extra mile for you guys <laughs> um and kellyanne maddox had a are you a blank are you a typical blank whatever your zodiac sign is she's a Sagittarius so she put Sagittarius and then she kind of talked through you know what she felt as a Sagittarius like she really was and what really resonated with her and what didn't I did the same thing um, so I will leave that video linked down below for you guys but to kind of summarize that I think that as I have grown older I've realized that yes I am a Sagittarius but I think that Sagittarius get a bad rep for some things I think that people like roast signs all the time right but like I feel like Sagittarius like Cancer Pisces they all get like Gemini they all get like some very specific roasting and I'm just like but that's not me meh um, so I am a sun and moon Sagittarius with a Virgo rising. 
yeah bitches i'm tired okay i'm always moving <laughs> but um i definitely i definitely think that my planets kind of they're yeah they're good they're correct <laughs> um I often get mistaken for either an air sign or a um, earth sign, which makes sense. Uh, Virgo rising, so I get it. Why, what is happening? Hi, hello, welcome back. Um, so I get it, but you know, and it's funny because like Virgo is probably one of the signs that I most relate to and I'm like, yes, bitch, oh, help. I'm like, yes, bitch, I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. Um, and I think that's why me and my cousin get along so well, because she's Virgo. And, you know, I'm just, like, chill as a cucumber. And I don't know. I'm just grounded. Like, I already try to be, you know, and I'm just very earthy, earthy crunchy. So, yeah, they're pretty accurate. <laughs> they're pretty accurate. Oh, this was my favorite what songs bring you the most magical vibes so i have a playlist that i will link down below for you um it's a current work in progress it's gonna get revamped again i'm gonna like remove some stuff off of it um because i have this weird habit of like sticking with certain songs for a while and then i'll just like add it into the playlist that i have like currently and then I'm like, no, that doesn't go with the mood, that it doesn't go with what it is that it's supposed to be. Because usually my playlists correspond with stories that I'm writing or stories that I'm feeling in my head. So I'm ready to start working on that story. And I need to get those other songs off that fucking playlist because they're on like three other playlists. Like I could just listen to a different playlist, but I don't. <laughs> I just add them onto this one again. So we're going to take them off. We're going to clean it up a little bit, um, but it's called Wicked Crown, and that's the playlist name, and it has all of these songs on it, but I, my favorite ones, which I might just make a new playlist, name it Wicked Crown, and whatever, but my favorite songs from it are A Little Wicked by Valerie Bossard, Brossard, Devil Woman by Cliff Richards, Richard. Um, there are two Hosier songs, Hoser songs in general that I freaking just like are my vibe right now. Um, Take Me to Church and Arsonist Lullaby. And these are all like very witchy vibes for me. Blood in the Cut by K Flay and The Warning by Sev Seville. So. I'm sorry about the lighting. The lighting's gonna be weird because I moved. Oh look, you can't see the gazebo anymore. My big head's in the way. So, those are my songs. Um, question number three. Which of your deities, guides, ancestors is most sarcastic with you? I feel like they would all be sarcastic with me because it's me. I might switch. I might just, I'm going to switch sides. See how much better that is? Jesus. Anyway. Okay. I'll just like <laughs> look at my car from here. Um, if this doesn't apply to you, which it doesn't really because I'm just now kind of getting into like deities and guides and stuff like that and ancestor work. So we're going to skip that part. Which of your tarot or oracle decks is? So I haven't broken in my tarot decks enough to um, really get a personality for any of the other ones besides my green witch tarot. And she's super nice. <laughs> she's a mama bird. <laughs> and she's just like, it's okay, honey. Everything's going to be fine. Stop freaking out. I love you anyway. And I'm just like, oh, okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I needed to hear that. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, sorry, just ignore me. That's how I feel she is. Um, four, biggest witchy mess up or misinterpretation? 
don't think that I've had that problem, to be honest. Okay, so some things that we could include in this, right? Um, my grandmother calls it slinging curses, but I don't necessarily think that it's the same as, like, it's not intentional curses, right? Um, but <sighs> supposedly in our family, like, maybe specifically the women, when we say things sometimes, my boyfriend, he calls me the speaker. <laughs> How fucking cliche, right? But, uh... <laughs> Sometimes when we say things, they tend to happen. And um, usually it's not with, like, the great things. It's with the, like, oh, shit, that's that's fucked, sorry, <laughs> kind of things. Um, so I try to be very intentional about how I speak. And sometimes, like, recently, within the past year, I've gotten into the um, habit of, like, saying, I hate my life. And so I, I'm always like, no, you don't this is what you're feeling like it's okay <laughs> but um I'm super sassy today I'm sorry <laughs> um there was one time where uh my boyfriend's manager my boyfriend and my old manager moved to a different store and so they were working together and my boyfriend was still actually he was still at our store um, at Pizza Hut and and so I he was moving back and forth between the two Pizza Huts because he was like helping out our our manager Joe and he was like you know whatever you know sure I'll get some extra hours type thing so one day I was like yeah Joe's gonna get like burnt out of shit and I don't remember what it was I said but I said something like he's gonna get sick or something like that and he's gonna need your help and maybe you know you'll get the assistant manager position <laughs> It literally wasn't even like two weeks later, y'all. Joe got into an accident, a car accident, and thank God he was alive. I would have died, like I would have felt like shit. But he did get into a car accident. He was like sick for a while and he needed Jesse to come in to like work for him. And um, from that experience, Jesse was offered the assistant manager position. Guess where he's at? Not my store. <laughs> so, you know, I think that was the biggest like faux pas thing that I've ever dealt with or experienced or was like, fuck, you know? And I've, I think that's when I really started like intentionally like being intentional about my words because I was just like, I freaked out. <laughs> I freaked out. I texted my mom and my aunt and um, my Grammy all have like this group text and I texted them and I was like, this, this just happened. Like it was, I don't know. I got the, like an email, um, the store email got an email, but I have it on my phone. So it came to me at like, I don't know, five in the morning or something. And I was like taking a shower and the regional, regional was like oh everyone you know la, 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 if you can send people you know Joe got a new accident I was like what the fuck? and like I didn't say anything but then you know Jesse talked about like having to go work at the store and he was like you know remember and I was like shut the fuck up don't talk we're not gonna talk about it and he was just like okay just saying and like several other things had happened before then to kind of bring that oh there's a blue jay i wish you guys could see it um to to bring back or bring about like that kind of uh situation where it's like i said something kind of shitty and then it happened and i was like uh sorry but it wasn't like two bad things um and no one was like harmed and so you know i f was freaking out at my grandmother and my uh my family and i was just like what do i do what do i do and you know my grandmother was like suck it up and deal with it you slung a curse now you have to like whatever repay the universe and I was just like what 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 how do I do that <laughs> um so yeah that that was the thing we're 15 minutes in let's get to this girlfriend um yeah that was my biggest witchy mess up I think 
Would you write a book on your craft or spirituality? Why? If you already have, what are your challenges? What were your challenges in doing so? I haven't written a book on my craft or spirituality or you know anything really nonfiction. Um, hopefully, you can still hear me. Uh, but I would. Why? I, I mean, I think just to kind of give my two cents and to talk because I like to talk. <laughs> and I think that I have something to say in that kind of conversation. So. This one's my other favorite. If someone wanted to summon you to their circle, what five items would they need? Blankets. YouTube, food, stuffed animals. I thought of these ahead of time. And uh, lingerie. <laughs> Those are the things you would need to get me to come to you. If you were a ghost, what place would you haunt? I don't think my bitch ass would want to haunt anywhere. I'd be pretty content, like, moving on. I think. I think. Um, maybe if I had kids, I'd be where my kids were. Or maybe even my siblings. Or my mom. If I knew it wouldn't freak her out. Number eight. What is the funniest way someone has reacted to finding out you are a witch? So, two were basically the same, right? One was funnier than the other. Um, I came out to my cousin first which <laughs> came out to her every time first <laughs> so whatever um she's a very special person obviously what the fuck is happening i came out to her first and i was basically like it was after i already had the youtube channel and, or maybe I was like making the YouTube channel or I, at least if I had, if I had already made it, I had less than like five videos, right? Um, I don't think I had any videos to be honest. I think that I had just, I was thinking about it and I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it and then like not be able to like talk to her about it. And so I was like, Hey, Sheree, um, I think this is what's happening and this is what I'm doing and um, and um, you know and <laughs> I remember I was literally I was driving back from school and I was crying like I was absolutely like sobs crying I had to pull over into like a restaurant that we have by my house and I was like you know this this and this and I just don't want you to not love me and whatever whatever and she was just like okay but um that makes sense <laughs> i was just like what <laughs> she was like well ashley like think about it you this you that like i'm not surprised <laughs> and i was just like oh okay like it was more of a revelation to me than it was to her and she was like yeah that makes sense okay cool have fun i don't believe in like what your like things but like i believe in some of it and like you know do what you do i was just like okay i'm gonna do what i do then and i did so what is the funniest way someone oh oh that makes sense do you have any superstitions dude i have superstitions up the yin yang there are way too many for me to like really pinpoint down, but I'll, I'll tell you some brief ones. Um, sweeping over your feet, someone sweeping over your feet, like fucking you're going to die a widower or a widow, depending on what you are. And I was like, nope, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, that, uh, spoons, spoons, two spoons in a bowl means someone's pregnant. I fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I even have like Jesse has been trained now that if 
like I have a spoon and he has a spoon like he has to hold the bowls out separately or he has to like hold everything separately because I'm like don't fucking even put them in the same vicinity <laughs> so there's that mm. even numbers I'm super weird about like volume and stuff like that being on even numbers uh, your purse touching the floor is money out the door that's what my uh, great great grandma used to say and it's been passed down and whoa, don't put your purse on the floor or maybe it was mama which is my great grandma I don't know someone said it um, I always step in to a room with my right foot if I don't uh, get to then I backtrack and I step in again uh, with my right foot and I I've heard that this is a superstition, um, but I've only heard that it's a superstition in recent years. I particularly started it um, when, you know, my mom converted to Islam and uh, you're supposed to step into a room on your right foot. You're supposed to shake with your right hand because your left side is like unclean. Um, it's to my understanding is why, but it just, it stuck. Uh, so itchy hands. Uh, your right hand you're giving your left hand is receiving so that's what I've always been told number 10 if you could possess any fantasy magic what would your power be I feel like I'm a pretty intuitive person as is but I would really like some sort of like supercharged super powered intuition um, you know, Domino from, uh, is it DC or Marvel? I don't know. Domino is this character. She was in, um, Deadpool, the second one, I think. And she is just like a lucky duck. Like literally things align for her perfectly. And she's just like, okay. And like goes about her life. And it's really great. Um, I'd probably want that. <laughs> what is something random on your altar or altars? I have caterpillars sitting on my altars right now. Actually, a random thing. Uh, 12. If, you, if one of the YouTubers you watched was a genie and they could grant you three wishes within their power, who would it be and what wishes? And it can't be for more wishes. So... Automatically, I thought of Drew, um, and I thought, like, I would just love to, like, meet up with Drew one day. I'm going to be going to the Carolinas, so I feel like this is within her power, right? Right? Maybe. <laughs> um, so... I really love to like just meet up with her and just like have a cup of coffee or like you know I wouldn't have coffee she could have coffee I'd have tea but you know just like sit and chill and just like talk and just like talk about shit for hours that's I that's what I would like um, I would like us to go get our aura pictures taken together because I'm super into that and I'm now we just started a show last night that fucking has aura pictures in it and like when I saw the picture I was like I know what that is. I know what that is because Drew told me. <laughs> Jesse was like, what? What is it? I was just like, it's an aura picture. It's an aura picture. I'm telling you it's going to come up later. And it came up like three episodes later and they, she goes into an aura picture like place and it was just like, fucking see. I told you. I was very excited about it. Um, so yeah, I'd want to get like aura pictures taken together. And... I would want to collab if that's like a thing. So Mama Genie, there you go. <laughs> Those are my three wishes. 13, if you could instantly become an expert in any part of your craft or spirituality, what would it be? Yo, like tarot or astrology. I'm just like, I'm excited to learn these things, but I'm also excited to know these things, you know? And I feel like, I feel really, now, I feel, I'm feeling more confident in tarot 
um, intuitively, but sometimes I don't fucking know what's happening. Like the cards are there and I'm like, I don't understand. I don't get it. What is it? What does this mean? <laughs> and like, I would really just, I would really like to be an expert in tarot, to be honest. Um, 14, when you die, what do you think will happen to you or your soul? This is a heavy hitting question and I don't know, like, I don't know. Uh, I believe in heaven and hell to an extent. Um, I believe in like the monotheistic God or Abrahamic God, I guess, uh, because I also believe that like deity as an archetype exists, but I also believe that it's possible for deity outside of archetype, like as a personified deity could have existed, um, could exist. Um, maybe I'm just not connected to them. Maybe they're in a different realm. Maybe God made them. Like, I don't know. Like, I, you know, not my place to say, you know? Uh, so I don't discredit them or discount them. Um, I would like to think that there is a place where good people go and a place where bad people go. And I would like to think that it all kind of depends on your intentions and if you're just like a good-hearted person and like even though you do bad things sometimes like you're okay like you you go to the okay the good place that's what I like to believe that's what I like to think um, Where do you see yourself spiritually in the next five years? So, I don't know. <laughs> um, definitely, I'd still like to be doing YouTube. Um, I would really like to see myself in a spiritual shop of some sort. I would like to either own one or have an online shop. I don't know if I'd like a brick and mortar store. I wouldn't mind working in a brick and mortar store but i don't think i want to have my own i would want to do everything offline um online sorry and i would love to be doing readings for people and like charging for them um i would like to be doing needle charts i would like to be you know making spells and helping people holistically with other you know inner turmoil things as a supplement to whatever shit they need to get together <laughs> um but yeah like i think that that's kind of where i would see myself and where i would like to see myself in in about five years so now that you know a little bit about me tell me a little bit about yourself um i'm kind of just like tagging everyone uh, please check out Little Cosmic Crow's video because it's super cute, super adorable. I love her. Um, but also, specifically, I guess I'm tagging kind of like all my Witchwood Coven sisters. So, yeah, babes, let me know. Let me see. Yo, it's super cute. I think it's cute. Okay, love you. Bye.